Now, if you do run out of time on the hard questions in the hard module, then your problem probably starts on stuff like this, where you're not instantly recognizing the right strategy to solve this. This is very obviously a plug points into equations situation. We are given points. We are given equations that are supposed to match those points. Pick the laziest one and plug it in. Let's start with zero one, right? That's pretty lazy because zero is great. Now, if we put that into each of these, we're looking to get one out. And right away with choice A, we've got a little bit of an issue because a lot of you are, are going to think that this is negative 25 to the zero, which makes this one. But no, 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 no. That's, that's not quite right. The way that this is built, it's actually negative, And then it's almost like the 25 is in parentheses here and only the 25. So the negative gets applied later. This is just how math works. This is a PEMDAS issue. It's, it's kind of just exponents get taken care of before multiplication. And for various reasons, we think of a negative in front of a number as multiplying it by negative one. It, your calculator behaves the same way. So this is actually going to be negative one. And so that means we can get rid of it. It's gone. doesn't matter. Uh, so that's good for us. I guess sort of a choice. And then the same thing more obviously is going to happen in choice B, right? Because negative, uh, let's just put the zero here, negative one like that, anything to the zero is one is still not one. It's, you know, negative one. So gone. Now, if we did the same thing in C and D, we would very quickly see that we would get one in both because these are positive numbers. So that negative is not going to affect things. So 25 to the zero, that's one. One twenty-fifth to the zero, that's one. So let's just pick a new number and let's still be lazy. I don't know, choice, uh, the second number there, 1, 125 seems, or 125 seems pretty easy because if I put 1 in here, I just get 25. But if I put 1 in here, I get 1 over 25, exactly what I want. So it's D. Now, I took a long time to explain that. But honestly, on the test, this is 10, 15 seconds. That's it. There's no doubt, no doubt here. If I really wanted to, I could double check this by putting it in Desmos, but you really want to save all the time you can for those hard questions later. So doing this right the first time by instantly recognizing those plug points and new equations, thinking about how these exponents will work and picking the laziest numbers, all that stuff should streamline this process for you. And then if by some miracle you have time left over at the end, you could always come back to this and, and throw it in Desmos and just make sure that all the other points work as well. But you really don't need to here. You got to be confident on this and, and how this stuff works. Otherwise, those hard questions aren't going to make much sense to you at all.